yes now let's come back and see the next reasoning question in your uh, inorganic chemistry right, last last question what do we see we have seen a question based on size that was the concept simple question let's read the next question so why is atomic radio of inert gases greater okay how can we justify that they've already given the values see here when i compare group 17 and group 18 the, the halogens if i see fluorine fluorine bromine and iodine <coughs> it is only 0.72 for fluorine 0.99 for chlorine 1.14 and 1.33 i can immediately if i go to the next group that is inert gas elements in the periodic table this is 0.72 this is there is an increase 0.99 there is an increase 1.14 there is an increase 1.33 is an increase so what does it mean fluor from bromine iodine acid okay what did, what are they asking why is that atomic radius greater so basically when we are supposed to reason a question we should have a basic data what is the basic data normally what type of radius different types of radius we have uh, studied we have studied about metallic radius okay right not metallic radii we have studied about covalent radii we have studied about what van der waals radii we have studied about cationic radii isn't it um, like the type types in the atomic radii so what do we have metallic we have done van der waals we have done covalent we have done cationic we have done right okay atomic radii also done so these are the different types of radii now whenever they are asking you about inert gases remember in, when normally whenever we speak we speak about covalent radii two bonded atoms together but in case of inert gases we are basically we need to concentrate or we need to speak in terms of van der waals radius only remember that what is the sequence we already know the sequence is van der waals radius this is your sequence which you should remember always remember vr means van der waals radius is greater sorry then metallic radius greater than atomic radii greater than <coughs> covalent radii greater than cationic radii this is the sequence always remember now in case of inert gases what are we trying to consider we are trying to consider van der waals radius so isn't it maximum van der waals radius is maximum that is the reason that inert gases have higher atomic radii so just you want to write the answer like this you need to start solution according to the sequence you write the sequence or you write the order then since in the inert gases the non-bonded electrons because inert gases are uh, they don't bond they don't form bond formation isn't it right so in inert gases instead of atomic radii <coughs> or if, if i have to say covalent radii also we don't speak about covalent radii because there is no bonding form instead of covalent radii what are we going to take let us take this out and right instead of covalent radii van der waals radius is taken into consideration into covalent radii instead of so underline this word what is considered <coughs> van der waals radii is considered so according to this order what is the first one van der waals radius is greater hence inert gases have larger atomic radii you need to conclude your answer like that